CDC, the Health and Human Services, and the entire U.S. government is taking this very seriously. For the average American, this is not something that will change your day-to-day -day life. But if you are pregnant, we have taken the unusual step of recommending that you avoid travel to areas where Zika is spreading. Or if you live in an area such as that or must travel, that you be very vigilant with applying mosquito repellent and taking steps to avoid mosquito bites. Vaccines are very important. The good news is that Zika is a what we call a flavy virus, a certain class of viruses. And we have successfully developed vaccines against flavy viruses, like yellow fever like dengue, a vaccine that was just recently approved in Brazil and Mexico, and we're studying that right now. So we have already started to develop a vaccine in the early stages, and we can predict that we likely would be in phase one trial just to determine if it's safe and if it induces a good response, probably by the end of the summer and get that going by the end of this year. We don't want to take money that is currently being used to make sure we follow through on our Ebola response. Uh, and have it be diverted to this latest uh, effort. We believe what is uh, the most effective way for us to move forward uh, is to uh, get Congress to appropriate and provide uh, the resources that our experts need uh, to keep the American people safe. And I just want to say we are working 24-7 to protect Americans right now against the threat of Zika and to support the areas that have already seen spread. We expect with the warmer months to come that more um, risk will be present. And so this is really a time where we need to scale. We need to scale up the diagnostics that are getting shipped out, and we need to be working on better diagnostics so that problem that a pregnant woman has about, well, you might have this, but we're not exactly sure. You know, time is really precious for this kind of emerging infection.